Hello friends welcome to the Tech Talks Engineered channel. Today, we will see how work is carried out on energized power lines with an example. Here we can see a person working directly on an energized power line at a voltage level of 220,000 volts, wearing a special kind of suit, hand gloves, and boots. In the video, we can hear the chattering noise since the power line is charged. How is this person working safely on a live power line without getting an electric shock? We know, accidentally if we touch a 120 volts or 230 volts household power supply, for a fraction of a second, it can be fatal. The slightest human contact with electricity even at the low voltage level of 120 volts to 230 volts is very dangerous. So how the person in the video can work directly on the energized power line which is at the extremely high voltage level of 220,000 volts. How it is even possible to work directly on an energized power line? Let's start from the beginning. We know that current flows from high potential to low potential, that is high voltage to low voltage. When we touch electrically powered equipment or line. Electrical equipment is at high potential, and the earth is at zero potential. The potential difference gets created across the body and hence current flows through our body, the body being the least resistance path for the current. And we experience an electric shock, which can be fatal. So there are two options to work safely on the power line. The first one is very commonly used. In this method power line or equipment is de-energized by disconnecting its power supply and its potential is brought down to zero same as earth potential. And work can be carried out safely at zero potential. The second option, which is the important one, we are going to see. In this method, instead of bringing down the potential of the power line, the potential of the person working also called alignment is raised equal to the level of power line potential. This way, since the person working and power line both are at the same potential, current will not flow through the body of the person. And work can be done safely. This method is called the bare hand, hot line or hot hand working method. But please note, though it is called the bare hand method, the worker wears a special type of hand gloves all the time during work. The special suit which a person wears while working is also called a Faraday's suit. This suit is made from or woven throughout with conducting fibers such as gold, silver, copper, etc. The suit is nothing but a wearable Faraday cage, which equalizes the potential over the body and ensures there is no through tissue current, meaning no current through the body. Conducting gloves, conducting socks along with conductive boots are also necessary, leaving only the face uncovered. Gloves and socks are manufactured from the same material that the suits are made of. Leather conductive boots come with an integrated braided conductive material such as copper leads and calf strap. Hence the complete body of the working person is maintained at a potential equal to the power line potential. An electric arc is extremely bright, including the ultraviolet radiations, and can cause arc eye, which eventually can lead to a painful and potentially blinding condition. Hence workers are provided with appropriately tinted goggles that protect their eyes in the event of a flash, and also provide protection against debris ejected by an arc. Now wearing a complete suit with accessories, gloves, socks, goggles, and boots the worker gets ready. While the worker gets ready, an insulating ladder structure is assembled and raised at the desired height. The ladder material such as sticks and joints are made of insulating and high resistance material, so that there is strong insulation between the worker and the ground. Also, a track is prepared for the ladder movement on the ground. This complete equipment and accessories set up for work on a live power line are carried in a transport vehicle. In some cases, aerial lifts or helicopters are also used to work on energized power lines at height. Once the worker is ready wearing a suit, gloves, socks, goggles, and boots, climbs up and stands on the insulating ladder which is maneuvered to the line by workers on the ground using the non-conductive rope. As the worker approaches the conductor and touches the live conductor with his hand wearing gloves or touches conducting clamp, an arc will form between them as the worker gets charged. This arc can be weakening for the worker, so the worker must immediately bond himself electrically to the line to prevent further arcing by using the bonding strap of the suit. 
we can see clearly in the video, the working person bonding with the power line with the suit bonding strap. Once electrically bonded with the line through the suit strap, the worker is safe from shock as both the worker and the line conductor are at the same electric potential and no current passes through his body. Now the worker can work on the power line. Here we can see the worker taking out the tools from the tool bag and untightening conductor nut bolts. These tools also get charged to the potential equal to the potential of the power line. Once the conductor is loosened from the main power line, it is brought down carefully and safely with the help of the pulley and non-conductive rope. We could clearly see a spark between the conductor and pulley. This spark occurs at the moment when the conductor goes beyond the induction zone of the power line. Also, please note that the other end of the conductor must not be loaded and must be isolated. That means there should not be any load current flowing through the conductor which is to be removed from the main power line. This method is used only to remove the conductors which are connected to the main power line but do not supply the load at the time of work. And it is impractical to de-energize the main power line. So first of all the conductor to be removed is isolated from one end. And then using the method we saw, the other end connected to the energized power line is removed. Once the conductor is removed, the insulating ladder is moved over the track to the next conductor, using non-conductive rope to hold the ladder in the upright position. Similarly, the next conductor is removed. Finally, once all the required conductors are removed from the energized power line, the worker removes the bonding strap from the power line and gets down the ladder safely. This method of working on the energized power line is used only in case the power line supplies critical load and cannot be de-energized and taken out of service. So guys this is how a person can work directly on energized power lines. Hope you liked the video. If yes, please click the like button. For more videos please subscribe and press the bell icon. Also, please share this video as much as possible. Thank you.